Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of Columbian Space Initiative in Supreme Rule Ultimate. And in previous episode, we did buy quite a bit of uh, technological stuff, and we did do de decent progress in that, I believe, as well. Now, I ha we have skipped ahead a fair bit, and we are one day away from getting the fission experiments, which has been very expensive research. Luckily, once we get that, we should be turning a profit again. Now, something that has happened, we are apparently number 6 in the world ranking in GDP. Which is a bit surprising, in all honesty. Uh, but our unemployment also plummeted down to 2.8% for some reason. So, that might be part of the reason there. But yeah, um, we'll just let people move in again. And try to get the labor shortages in order. Or fixed, rather. But yeah, um... Now we did connect down there, I think between the episodes, again I don't remember, it's been a few days since I recorded and I've been doing a lot of recording on Aurora 4 Rex lately so sometimes I get a bit confused but now we are making a pretty decent profit again, about 2 million, actually more than that, much more than that. Alright because we're probably selling some... Indu oh yeah, we're selling a lot of industrial goods right now. Well, that would explain it. That would certainly explain it. But yeah, we should be getting the transportation improvements in due time. Did we get any other research that we cannot buy? We got the nuclear fission that we can... Ooh, four half billion though. That's a little bit. Now if we have a look at the milestones there, the Germans are almost at 50% getting their race for the bomb completed. We got our first milestone completed. Oh, well, the uh, race stage completed, but yeah, we still need... Oh, okay, we've actually started on that one. Early computing is going to be the next one. But yeah, we're far away from getting our goals. Still supporting... Oh, all oh, right, yeah. Uh, USSR has been buying uh, industrial goods from us. I believe that's industrial goods, or oh, is that... Actually, that may have been... Oh, yeah, it is industrial goods. Well, at least we're making good money out of that. So as soon as we get a bit more money, we should start buying some things. I'm thinking quality controls would be handy. It does cost a fair bit. On the other hand, considering that we are so... friendly with the United States, I think we can actually buy that already. Oh yeah, we can. Good. Because that's going to unlock quite a few new texts, a lot of which are something that we cannot um, buy. For example, the improved machining tools. I suppose I'll put that one in. The improved power grid is also another one that increases our power output, but it is a bit of an expensive tech, but also a long-term tech, so we'll see how much we can do about that. And then is there anything in the synthetic rubber now? Ooh, I'd like to buy that so I can make some rubber in our own backyard, so to speak. Ooh, actually, speaking of rubber, uh, UK. I know that you seem a bit cold right now because we have been trading with a lot of nations that you might not like as much, like the Soviets. But I'll still like to buy your rubber there so we can keep our industry running because we are now one of the, well not the richest uh, countries, but our citizens are fairly rich in comparison. Okay, unemployment has gone up again, so it may have been partially because of the research, in fact. And now GDP has dropped. Okay, so yeah, it was probably that. A lot of money going into research, so a lot of people were working in the research at the time for the fission experiment. Um. Okay, so that is some air units, I think. I'm gonna reject that. Mostly because we won't be able to get the troops back home, quite frankly. Just making sure one thing. Yeah, good. For a moment there I was wondering if I had put the timer on or not, but apparently I had. Good. Right, so we're still about a year away from getting the transportation improvement, which is going to improve the speed that units are moving, I reckon. And then land force improvements will increase our garrisons, which we actually don't have a lot right now. Now, to be fair, we haven't been built... Actually, we have been building a little bit of troops, including some mounted infantry, but we're keeping them in reserve right now. We don't need to get the active upkeep cost from them. 
Right, so we actually have a pretty good situation in terms of uh, petroleum. Oh, uh, ele oh, electricity prices. Uh, okay, that has plummeted. Well, it's a good thing that we're not investing too much in it right now then. So we're spending $77,000 per day to get the electricity that we need, and we actually need a lot of electricity, so it's not all bad. Right, so how actually are the Soviets doing? There, how many suit? Oh, so uh, the Germans have gotten through here momentarily, but they're now surrendered down, or not surrender, surrounded, while the Soviets are surrounded over there. They're still holding on this side, by the looks of it. But yeah, I, I don't know. The Germans are not doing too badly. Although they still haven't been able to take Paris, they've gotten close, and that uh, military complex that is under construction, well, in theory under construction, had been under or changing hands quite a few times throughout the war here. Oh, and there was guerrilla sabotage. Ooh. Okay, so the power plant was sabotaged a little bit. Not completely, but a little bit nonetheless. Right, so how is our unemployment now? 3.4%. Okay, so we can actually build something sooner. The question is, what should we build? I suppose industrial goods has been in very high demand, so we could actually improve that production, but we're going to need a bit more goods to do that. And we'll probably build it down there. I mean, we've got pretty good supply in that region. At the same time, we want to keep the unemployment... Yeah, at least around 3.5%, so we'll probably wait until 3.8% before we start doing more construction. That gives us a little bit of time to accumulate the industrial goods, although we need like 3,000 tons of goods more, so that's not too bad. So that is still 337 days away. We got a lot of these, actually. Um. I wonder, are there any researchers that we could perhaps buy from the United States now? Um, vacuum tubes would be handy. I believe that opens up a lot of new research. And the science, synthetic rubber is probably a bit too expensive still. And there's some military stuff that we could probably buy. Actually, we'll buy the improved uh, barrel design. 184 million. And that should allow us to get some more ground unit designs or research, namely in the artillery department. For example, this one would be too bad. It has a pretty good range. That's actually something that I usually use quite extensively, so I'll start researching that. This one has a lot less range. I like to have a long range on my artillery, just so that they don't need to be right at the front line. Right, so we've got 31,000 tons. Actually, let's go ahead and increase the government support levels there. And the Soviets still want to buy more industrial goods. I mean, I'm okay with that. It runs our economy quite nicely. It allows us to buy more technologies so we can actually keep up with the speed that we need to. Now, how actually, how are we doing in terms of coal? We've still got more than plenty. Uh, we have increased the production rate of uh, metal ore right now. Which actually is costing us a little bit. A decent stockpile though. So I guess it's not all bad. Oh, China wants to buy. Oh, okay. Um, sure. So I think increasing the industrial goods production would actually be a very good idea. Now the question is, are we actually... Well, I think we might be losing some of that. Yeah, the stockpile is going down right now. Not forever, though, but for a little bit. Not to mention the unemployment is still not high enough for us to warrant expanding that. But yeah, the fact that we had low unemployment meant that we had very good GDP per capita. You know, less unemployed people means that more people are getting paid. So even if they're not getting paid particularly good, Salary, they'll still get money. Right. 
still quite a bit for that. Now, is the... Oh, wow. Okay, so the consumer goods is also a very good profit uh, margin there. Although the fact that everyone wants to buy directly industrial goods because there's not enough supply in the world, quite frankly. Guyana and Greece have formed alliance. Oh. So I'm currently the third largest exporter of uh, industrial good. Actually, Austria Hungary is exporting a lot as well. I'm not entirely sure where they're getting their goods. Well, they're even trading more than the United States. I mean, the United States is doing alright there, but. Well, number three at least. Uh, China and Soviet Russia and Germany are all the top importers. Now, China and Russia are buying their. or some of their industrial goods from me. And I guess most of it is still from the United States. Right, so what are my military goods? There would be a profit margin of 2,350. Let's see, so you want... Okay, you're actually offering a decent price. Sure. So it's still spending a fair bit... Oh, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> it's back to 244. Okay, so the stockpile is not going to be increasing too much lately. But we're going to afford waiting. Oh, it's actually 3.7% already, so the inflation has dropped a decent bit. Now, I suppose what I could do... So you want to buy another 130... Okay, I want the money so I can buy the techs. But that does delay our production here a little bit, unfortunately. You know what, um... Let's see if we could buy something from the United States again. I don't think we have the money quite yet, unless we buy something... Well, this brood marine propulsion. Brood main guns, both of those are something that we could buy. But I'd rather buy something in the technology department. For example... That's vacuum tubes. How much would that cost? I almost have the money for that. Almost. Are you want even more? It's still offering me more than it's worth, so I suppose I'll take it. Still making a profit. And technically, well, the, what determines the worth is just the market price on the global market. So I'm making more money by selling it directly to the Chinese and Russians than I'm making by selling to the global market. Right, I do believe we got now the money to buy the vacuum tube, so let's go ahead and... Actually, can we get a... Nope, okay. Well, that's still another tech that we got, and did it unlock anything? Oh, wow, actually, I think it unlocked a fair bit in here. This looks like a principle, so how are we doing in terms of the... Oh right, we got the first one over there. Uh, slowly catching up with the Germans, I see. Not particularly quickly, mind you, but... I think we're gonna... Considering the Germans are probably gonna have to focus a lot their research on... Um, units and such. And they probably won't be able to buy as many things from other nations. I mean, they do have a decent bit of money, in all fairness. Would they like... Nope. <laughs> they had nothing... Or I have nothing that they would like... They would like to buy, so... I'm not gonna sell to them. Not to Mexico either. What about Argentina? Oh, I could sell you that. For 44 million, I'll take that. I paid 200 million for that. If I can sell it to a few more nations, then I'll be making quite a profit. Well, not necessarily a profit, but at least cutting down the losses. What about New Zealand? You've got 90 million. You've got a lot of things that you might want, though. Oh, 42 million. Okay, yeah, almost 43 million for the <laughs> goods. Or compared to what? Well, it was like 16 or 20 million. Or 26, somewhere around there. Right, so what else? Uh, South Africa, are you you're still a colony, so we can't sell to you. Cuba, you... Ooh, actually, Cuba, you might have some money that we can take. Hold on. Uh, ooh, 34... Okay, yeah. 
They are offering good prices. Who managed to say no to that? Alright, so what did we... New alliance formed. East Indies and Greece. Okay. Right, did I... Oh, Venezuela. Can I sell anything to... Oh, yes I can. Now, do you have a lot of money is the question. Not really. You've got a lot of it. Uh, Peru is probably similar. Sell... Oh, basic electronics. How much are you willing to pay? 100 and... Oh, oh, oh. Excellent. Now we should have uh, enough money to buy another tech, I think. Let's have a look. Electron microscope, that might be good. Industrial gas turbine engines. You know what? I'm going to buy this synthetic rubber. 260 million. It's not going to be a particularly effective building. Like, if we have a look at the rubber buildings here now, so... Rubber plantation. Actually, no, it didn't even unlock it yet. But yeah, that can produce up to 40,000 tons per year. Whereas, well, um, I don't know actually. Is there a. There's coal synthetic fuel at least. That produces one tenth of what a gas field would produce and it takes coal and it has a much higher maintenance cost if I remember correctly. Also the build cost is much higher. Double the industrial goods almost and yeah. Uh, not great way but if you have a lot of coal and have no oil then that is one way that you can at least keep some of your industry going. But a lot of nations do start with some sort of uh, Petroleum uh, supply, especially the bigger nations. Uh, no, I don't want to buy your units because I can't get them in here. That's the problem. Otherwise, I would, but because we've got quite a bit over there. Forty million. Oh wow! Yeah, sure. They really like our industrial goods, by the looks of it. Right. You know what? At this point. I know that we don't have the supplies yet. I'm going to start building another one. Still supporting the United Kingdom a little bit. We've got 30,000 tons of rubber. That's going to last us a little while. And... Yeah, nope. China and uh, Russia really like our industrial goods. So we'll just improve the production so we can keep on selling. Because clearly that is making us a decent chunk of money. Right, so that's the l okay. That's about halfway done. It's a long way to go, though, and that's going to take ooh, ho, 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 quite a bit of time as well. All right then, we might want to start considering at least a third research lab. Quite frankly, right then. In the meanwhile, I should probably go around and try to see if anyone else wants to buy more tech. Ottomans want the better barrels. What about the Greeks? You do have a little bit of money, so I can probably sell you both of those. Well, there we go. What about Japanese? Nope, you do not want any of mine. What about Spain? You want the barrel design. What about Portugal? You probably want... Oh, particle accelerators. Sure. Oh! United States is offering me... That's actually not a bad offer. Yeah, I'll take that. That's going to allow us to build up the industrial goods factory. And after that we'll have uh, quite a bit higher income of that particular good. Oh yeah, we are a bit low in stock, aren't we? So I'm not exactly sure how much we are buying. Okay, so now we're having a bit of problems, because we're still about five more days away. Right, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that that is uh, going to be sorted out soon enough. We're still making a decent bit of money, so one thing that I suppose I could do is... Try to consider some other text to buy. 
Commercial plastics is something that we cannot buy. We're going to have to research that. Digital circuit principles. Actually, that wouldn't be bad. And I'm pretty sure that the United States is willing to buy or settle that to us. 144 million for that, but that's alright. There we go. So now we are yet another step closer to getting the nuclear bombs. Not that we'll be using them, but, you know, completing the race for the bomb. Of course, Great Britain has been there for the past 15 years, probably. Because they start with decent text, I suppose. Eventually, we do want to get the space race and then the Man on Mars. We'll probably get the internet race in somewhere in there between. Still having the supply problems for that. But how much longer do we need to build? It's two days that we actually construct it. So not particularly long in all fairness. Alright then. How is the unemployment doing? 3.6%. Inflation is about 8%, so it's a bit high. Uh, GDP capita is now below 1000 again. Oh, Greece has been allying pretty much everyone left, right and centre. Alright, let's have a look at how big our production will become. It was 440-ish before, so now it's 476 and it might be growing still. But hey, now we should be making pretty good money. Although, due to the lack of uh, goods, we... Yeah, some of the trade deals may have been broken. Unfortunately. Still making money though, although deficit is a bit high. Why is that exactly? Production cost has gone up, but treasury is still... Okay, social services might be a bit higher cost there. Right about now. Right, so is there any other research that we could potentially improve particle sources? Um, that wouldn't be necessarily terrible. Uh, it does lead to some important stuff later on. Oh, synthetic rubber production is a different text that we need to get, so that is going to provide this. That we can actually start producing rubber in our backyard. Although, okay, it's not going to be particularly cheap, but it's one thing that we can do. Right, so is that synthetic rubber production? You want 200 million for that, because we can wait. Now, we are getting money at least a little bit, just not fast enough. Partially that might be because we are buying the industrial goods from the United States, but that should be ending soon enough. I'm building up a stockpile right now, which we can then use to build up some stuff again. Okay, so the relations with UK has started to improve a tiny bit again, but it will take some time to be completed, that's for sure. Right, so I presume we still, yeah, we still got way more metal production than we actually use. And save for coal, quite frankly. I mean, we are selling some of the coal, but it's just, there's not much of a demand, and the electricity price is still so much lower that it's not worth us to expand the production. Rather, we'll just buy from the international market. Seems to be good availability, so there's no, nothing wrong with that. And there's actually, China is one of the top exporters right now. Interesting. UK is another one. Soviet Russia is another one. And France. I thought the United States used to be one of the top ones, but maybe their production cost is also fairly high. So they're not selling it right now until the price uh, goes up a little bit. But that's fine, I suppose. Okay, unemployment 3.8% despite we build that one. Okay. I mean, we're going to let it grow a little bit further, but we do need to be... Oh, actually, 7.7 .7 million population. We're going to hit the... How much are we gaining population per year now? 99,000... About 250,000. Uh, actually, I don't need more industrial goods. I'm producing a fair bit myself, thank you. That's going to save us a little fair bit of cash. 
There we go, that should improve our income, so we can actually buy more stuff from the United States. Actually, that reminds me, Chile, for example. Do you want any texts? I'm sure that you do. Do you have money, though? Not a lot. Not a lot of it. But it would appear that we are now out of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, also check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.